I'm the quiet one out of me and Daniel. Danny's a very volatile individual. Very. More than most. Um, so when we're in this in this um, cell, let's they call it a room, but we're in a cell. We're getting frustrated. We're becoming unhappy. So we start banging doors, trying to get their attention because they're just ignoring us now. They're putting up with the banging. Been banging for an hour, they're not even come to the door. We're two young kids, he's 12, I'm 13. Um, we're freezing. We've had no food, we've just been ragged out in this room. We start smashing up. Yeah. You say Danny's the most more volatile one, but do you think you tried to be a father figure for him as not as be as wild to try and tame him I a bit? No, no, I think what it was with Danny was um, he, can't, he couldn't control himself the way I could. Because I had a man called Sam, Samsworth, Neil Samsworth, prison guard. And I, I, I remember, um, I, remember uh, I remember Neil Samworth asking me uh -huh. on K-Wing in a land in strange ways, not so far back. I'm writing a book. Can I mention you in it? I said, you can mention this. I'm okay. And he'd done exactly that. So yeah. I've got to respect him for Yeah, it. he's a nice guy. And listen, nobody likes the screws, but he says your brother, he's in prison with some of the most fearsome men in the UK but he says there's a 1% of prisoners who are proper and he says Danny is in that 1% he said that Danny beat up 10 guards and 10 he's not guards. lying yeah you've got to understand what it is with Danny mate see see. let let me bring you back to why Danny is the way he is we're in Dyson Hall we end up smashing the cell we're taking hidings off men you know we're getting twisted up by men this Tim nonce we're getting twisted up by these men we're getting battered they can't deal with us, so they separate us. So in the early hours of the morning, bang, they burst the room. They cough for Danny, six or seven of them. He's scrapping with them. He doesn't want to go, but they manhandle him. They, you know, they, they proper batter him. He's a 14, he's a 13, you know, 12 years, actually. They batter him. They've took him away and put him into the secure unit. So in Dyson Hall, you've got some units, then you've got a secure unit. Now, I never seen Danny then until I was 16 in a YP prison. So from that age, he's taken from, we're split up and then I'm not seen. We don't see each other for time. Next time we see he's in an HMP old course. Danny went into the secure system and while she was in that secure system, they couldn't control him. So they used their tactics and their methods to manipulate and condition him mm -hmm. to the way they want him to think. But he didn't have it, he rebelled. The only, the only thing they could do with him to calm him down was put him in a gym. So three times a week from the age of 12, Danny, by Dyson Hall, by a fella called Peter Dooley, who worked there, Scouser, was getting took to a gymnasium three times a week to calm him down. And all that done to him was made him... Bigger. Big, strong, more disciplined. Next time he got out of there, he had red hair to be and he looked like the Hulk. And that's why we used to call him the Hulk. So uh, the next time I seen Danny then was in a YP unit called Old Course. We hadn't seen each other for years. We're on there. Someone stepped on one of our toes. We've put him in hospital and then smashed the unit down. Smashed the whole unit. And they separated us in the prison system from that day on. I've mm -hmm. never been in a prison with Danny. So what we've done as young offenders, it implemented on us as cons. We could never be in the same prison together, me and Danny, ever, because of how volatile we become mm -hmm. when we're together. Yeah. It's like cutting in half it where you aren't as ruthless, but together it's together it's a different. Yeah, it's a different, it's different Why do you think that is? Protecting each other or I think it's where we've been through a life of violent behaviour and we've always been together. Like in our house, um, me and Danny were targeted by my dad. So me and, Danny, me and Danny rebelled the most. Me and Danny were tied to the bed. Me and Danny were whipped with a belt, locked in a room. All this stuff, that's me and Danny. The rest never got this treatment. Just me and Danny got this treatment. And I think when we were getting locked in the room and when, when the dad's coming in to give us a good hiding, Danny's jumping on his back to back me up. And when Danny's getting the iron, I'm jumping on my dad and trying to batter my dad. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And Danny's been since 2010. They didn't even give him a sentence. It was just a case of... You know? no, Danny's been in custody before. Yeah, 210 he went into custody. He's IPP prisoner. So initially they charged him with conspiracy to murder on some kid called Jamie Stark. He was now shot dead. 
Um, he got a hung jury. Well, this kid shot Danny. And then a few months later, he got shot dead. But anyway, he got a hung jury. They offered him a deal. That was conspiracy to murder. They offered him a deal. Conspiracy to possess firearms with intent. Now, if you're getting looked at a 30 rec or a 7, you're going to go guilty, aren't you? So he's gone guilty to the conspiracy to possess, but they've, sh they've shagged him up the arse, basically, and IPP'd him. So in a gold year ruling, they're meant to tell you or indicate what they're going to give you. And in that indication, they've said to him, we're going to give you a 7 to 10 years straight sentence. As soon as he's thrown his hands in and all that, they've IPP'd him with a 5 rec. That was 210. And here we are, 222, and he's got no prospect of release.